Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 of To the Moon. Uh, in our last episode, we got to experience a few different bits of Johnny's memory. Now we're a little bit farther back than old Johnny. We started with old Johnny and now we're slightly less old Johnny. Yeah, we found out that River is sick and that she didn't want to pay for the medicine so that she could stay alive basically yeah so she so that he could stay with um someone called anya and yeah basically they built this house on this cliff together and we just saw johnny have a conversation with this girl right here isabel about uh how he he was thinking that he should lie to river about being able to afford both finishing the house to be close to anya to be with anya to take care of anya or to, or be able to take care of River. And River, we found out in the episode previous that... We found out in a time previous that... Uh, yeah. That Sorry. River just doesn't doesn't want that. She wants... She'd rather have finished the house than take care of her, so... Right now we're just collecting some memories. So the car was one, the memory box was one. This is the memento, so we still need to find a few more things. Yeah, if you guys if you guys remember... Be back up on the cliff or not. There's a rope, that might be it. Nope, yeah. nope, no rope. Okay, well, we, if you guys remember, we uh, you have to collect certain little uh, little bits of memory and use that to break open a uh, a link to a, a further memory. Yeah. So right now we're trying to get back to. And the last time we got to this part of his life, even when we started when he was an old man, now we're here and we're gonna try to get back further. And we're trying to find something that can make us leap from where we are now to far like really far back but yeah they're like they're kind of tired of this whole going back a bit tiny bit by tiny bit they really need to go back farther and start working on his oh. memory much earlier so on so this was something crossing the bridge i guess was something yeah it looks like we can't we can't get over to johnny at no. this point can we i guess not i guess it not won't let me guys can Maybe. we go around no, I don't think so. All right. Well, I guess we just get to stare at him. Yeah, we need to find what the last thing is, and I have no idea. What, uh, did you, uh, was Isabel one of them? No, you can't look at her or anything. No! Okay. It's just this that you can look at. So we're missing one. Is it inside the house? No. You can't go inside. Are you sure? Because there is a hammer in there. You can go oh, inside. Oh, you can't there go you inside. Go. Oh, you're so smart. I didn't think you could. There are hammers in there, but it was. I guess it was just the. I was thinking. I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking like the yeah the act of going inside might be part of it. So we're gonna go ahead and jump back in time, yep. in Johnny's memory a little bit. We'll see how far back it takes so, us. Let's prepare the memento. Let's see how well we do this time with this. <laughs> we no forwarded the other. The we forwarded the last episode a couple days ago, so I'm a bit rusty on this again. Although I was never really good at it in the first place. Oh, so we, we, way to go. You did it. Didn't even need me. <laughs> it was pretty easy, and it's the olives. <laughs> Our, it's a lovely jar of olives that no one uh, no one likes at all. I love olives. Are you kidding me? Uh, no, thank you. Pickled olives are yummy. We received a note to pickled olives, and let's go ahead and activate it. Yes, and I'll check that note in a second. Oh, his eyes are so cute. So we're a little bit further back. Yeah, just a little bit further back. And it looks like they're together. That's so... That's so nice. It's nice seeing them together because this is really the first time you get to see them together, like with her being a little bit healthier. So, so you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep, the construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment, but with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at the lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that special about it. We have a long history with that place. <laughs> they got their like eyes closed, they're so happy. Well, it's good to have some good news at it to get together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Be right back, I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. The girls are going to go have a chat while the <laughs> boys like, have a chat, I guess. They can't go anywhere without each other. I'm glad River and John have Nicholas and Isabel. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That River, still so quiet, huh? Eh, she's actually been talking at home and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. 
<laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh, hey, so did you just remember that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper, which we've seen of plenty. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. <laughs> I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say that something like that is a common trait with Rose Condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her to. Have you asked Isabel? Yes, she said talk to her about it. She said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Probably right. Probably. I'm always right, John. He's just staring at his lovely jar of olives. He's not even eating it. Just staring at it. Wait, so he even... So even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits. Forget about the stupid rabbits. We've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory, and there's no mementos anywhere. Don't worry. We can probably draw one out of him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Okay. Let's go ahead and visit the bartender. He's yeah. a little bit shadowy at the moment, but we can... I think we can change He's that. He's not really part of the memory, I guess. Yeah, I guess he, Johnny probably doesn't really remember him. Mm -hmm. Hey there! Can I get you anything? Hey yo, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit? Check. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, well just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resetted. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, could I get you anything? <laughs> Hello, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickled olives. <laughs> Thanks, bro. You're getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such a butt, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, loosen up. Okay, so we got the first one, and we also have pickled olives, so... We got pickled olives and the first little memory from have. the bartender that doesn't exist. Hurry up already, I don't want to be stuck here. And mm. then I guess the only other thing we can do in here is... Talk to Johnny? Yeah, there's like a shadow right here, it looks like, as well. So there's probably... He's probably just, he just didn't really register that memory of the person there, I guess. Why is that bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Whoa, wait. Why is that... Why? Is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll put down a bottle together. <laughs> oh, yeah, that just sounds swell. <laughs> Eva, disable tech simulation now. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so gonna get you back for this. Oh, no. So that's how we got our first toaster. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You okay there? Y yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of these pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just I can't understand how anyone could uh, f find such things to be disgusting. Take your time. We've got two bottles left. <laughs> Uh, sharing pickled olives with Johnny is another me memory. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. <laughs> I guess getting all these stories from him. 
And you know what else is wrong with society today? <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Dr. Watts just wants to get out of this as early as he possibly can. Here it is. And freeze. All right. <laughs> Finally. Dear goodness. How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> so I guess this is the thing that we need to activate. Yep. Mento detected. Let's go ahead and break it open. Wait, don't you dare. Don't worry, sheesh. Yeah, she was worried that he was going to take her with her, with him. See, I'm going, doing it by the books. No, I think he's going to do the Hiduko thing. Oh, the Hadouken thing. Yeah, she doesn't want to do. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Hulk smash! <laughs> or that. <laughs> Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. I'm trying to get it. Oh, I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. I, that seems like something Neil would have said. Yeah, though. I was really confused. Okay. But... Totally worth it. <laughs> yeah. Memento, prepare. What, are, what is it? We never looked at the pickled olive note. We should look at oh, that. Yeah, we, should. we should look at both of these notes. Let's see. Uh, okay, wait. That one. The, the, the purple one right here. And then the, that yellow one right there. Yeah, those are going to be some of them, but... Yeah. And then that one. And then those three. I think they would have been a faster. No, those two. Oh, no, those two. Yeah. See, it's kind of hard to tell because a lot of it's white, so I couldn't tell yeah. what part of it was flipped over already. So. Let's go ahead and take a look, look at these notes. One of them is pickled olives. Johnny's, Johnny's favorite. favorite. And I'm not sure what this note is. I, th I think we have to actually, like, uh... Yeah, I don't think we got anything else. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and activate this. Activate memo. Ugh, memento. Memento. <laughs> what did I say? Memo. That's the same thing. A memo is something different. Eh, when it's a note, it is a memento and a memo. Oh, we're on the memo. next age section. Oh, look so at them. They're, they're so younger. young. They're, like, middle-aged-ish. He's not got his gray hair yet. Um, I'd say they're probably in their... 30s? Like, Early 30s. Early 30s. Or late 20s. Look how beautiful it is. Look at the sunset and yeah. the clouds and the sun. Oh, what the... Crikey nutcrackers! <laughs> <laughs> you aren't Australian. Oh, it's just a crikey nutcrackers. <laughs> Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and I'm standing on a dang flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a frickin' skydive. You can't stay on here, you can't get off. Gosh, I hate when this happens. I swear, if this place... <laughs> <laughs> Eva, what the... F <laughs> she pushed him off. <laughs> Way to go, Eva, you're awesome. Wes. <laughs> that looks like fun. If you can't get hurt doing that, then I would totally do I it. I wouldn't. You can't get hurt. Heights like, are terrifying. It is, but if it's the only reason it's terrifying for me is because it's I don't want to get hurt, obviously. Oh, Why music. would they abandon her like this? Look at that music. I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is now that everything is GPS and all that. I think there's still a chance that lighthouses would be used, not to, so they still wouldn't crash into things. Look, River. This place means a lot to me, too. And I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. So maybe they are in their 40s. Yeah, it's going to be a squeeze, but... We'd be able to see her from the window. Aww. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And, and we could walk here any time. She'd never be alone again, John. Huh? I'd, I'd be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Well, that's adorable. I'm happy to see them happy together. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. Eh. Yeah. The ending isn't any more important than the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. 
Okay. So we can't see them at all. So we can't do it. They're not a part of uh, what we need to find. No. Okay. And they're frozen too, so. Very true. Okay, so coming down here, got one. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse. Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. Received note, Anya. So we get we get to learn that Anya is the lighthouse, which is yeah. very important. So Anya basically just got updated because we already had the note, yeah. Anya. So abandoned lighthouse by the cliffside. That's great. So yeah, River just loved that lighthouse so much that she wanted to build a house near it. And then when they couldn't, she was heartbroken. Aww, so so they're walking up there. Yeah. So we got to see. Oh, we got to see both of them. I'm sure. I'm guessing we have to go up there and see them talk to each other. So I guess over here-ish, or even down further is where the where the house. Everything is. is so dead looking as well. I think I feel like it might be the time of year. You can tell it's it's getting close to fall. I feel like. Yeah. Maybe. Oh look! Look down there, paper rabbit. There's oh. a memento. Should we should we go see if they were talking to each other or something? We already saw their conversation. Did we? Yeah. That, we saw their conversation, then we saw them walk up there. That's how gotcha. things go in this game. They're backwards. Gotcha. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, so we got the memento. And get our lovely, lovely paper rabbit. Let's see. Can we do it? Uh, okay. Wait. <laughs> that one. We're so bad at this. I'm just, I'm just worried I don't, I, we really, there's no downside to doing it too much, but I just the pride, the pride of doing it right the first time. I think that one, do that one. No, that one, you were just on the yellow one. Do that one. Are you sure? Yes, do that one. I don't trust you. No, 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 no. Do that one and then that one. Right there. Do this one? Mm, no, I'm sorry, I messed it up. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no. Okay, see, I thought the bottom one was going to show up like oh, that. Oh, we did it in... The, the ideal amount. Yeah, so I, I, I was on the right track. I just, like, lost track of it in the middle of it. Because I was like, wait, what happened? Okay, so activate the memo. And go on back to the next memory. Why is there a rabbit, though? Oh. Okay, I guess this is why. Look at his mustache. <laughs> That's ridiculous. River? It's always like eerie when there's no music. Yeah, so we we're getting just walk around right away. We're getting even farther back. So we can't in, even into his memory. So yellow paper rabbit. Dear goodness, not again. <laughs> <laughs> so once because that didn't like show up as something that I could click on, so that was weird. Yeah, so let's go ahead and follow him, I guess. So Wanna... this is their old house, before. Yeah, this is uh where she was first sick and. They moved the piano upstairs, and we got to see the first time he ever played Four River for her. An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. <laughs> Not really. You can't even get it through its door. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the butt for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. <laughs> <laughs> It would. It would take an entire one of our episodes to get inside. No, so. a Doctor Who episode. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying that it would take an entire one of our episodes. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Neither would I. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. <laughs> Perfect. Especially if it was Matt Smith. He'd probably make it really funny. Yeah. So okay. we got our next one. Is that is that box something? Yeah. New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh. I think I know where this is going. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, I guess that's, that's not something. Yeah, though. that's not something we can use. But we do have an arrow leading to the next door. Oh no. Music. Oh no, okay. He went out for a haircut this early in the morning? This music is so beautiful, but heart wrenching. It is. What are you making there? Your little platypus sitting right next to her, me and her best friend. Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. 
What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? Well, something's up with that. I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but it is rather odd, even for that. But this is even odd, rather, for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps, but who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for it over with. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can imagine that they've kind of got to detach themselves from things a bit, or they'd go crazy. Yeah. Okay, so that's our m memento. We need two more things. Oh, uh, yeah, her making the rabbit might be it. So this is the day she started it, huh? Yep. She got a whole nice brand new box of paper out there to work with. It might be Johnny. Nope. What about the bucket? Yeah. Maybe. I was looking at that bucket. I was like, that's weird. Why is that there? Many, many long strands of orange hair. She cut her hair. Oh, she cut her own hair. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I, sh I mean, it's kind of hinted at, but Rivers got some sort of something going on with her. Yeah. That's, uh, we haven't quite discovered she yet. She said but... it has some kind of, I guess, mental illness, but yeah. we're not sure what it is. So let's go ahead and break the memento. Once again, it's a platypus. Prepare it. We're gonna... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you think you got an idea of it? Yeah, there you go. Good job. You rock. Thanks. You see these things way faster than I do. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and end the episode there. I think that's uh, a good place to end it. We did learn quite a, a decent amount of nice new stuff that will hopefully uh, hopefully allow us to understand what is happening a little bit better. So. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next part.